Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. In this video, I'm going to make a set and forget wildcard team for game week four. This is a team you can set and then forget about for the rest of the season. If you're wanting a break for a few weeks or a few months or the rest of the season, whatever you want, that's fine. Some people have got off to a very bad start, so this team only costs 99 million. If you have any friends or relatives that are in the game but you think they're not really engaged please send them a link to this video at least they can then set their team to this and they shouldn't be bottom of the league so this wildcard team i'm going to show you now is quite different from any other wildcard teams you can see out there for game week four because not only is it only 99 million but i've also had to allow for the fact that the bench has to be quite good so that as weeks and months go by and some of the starting 11 are no longer available through long-term injury or maybe they even leave the premiership, maybe in the winter time, the bench has to be good enough to come in and take over. So from Liverpool, we have Alisson, Trent and Diaz. Now I'm aware most wildcard teams, maybe even all wildcard teams this week out there are going to have Salah. Certainly my normal one for game week four has Salah. We've only got one premium in this team and... As you can see, it's not Salah. We've got a decent goalkeeper and it's got quite a good midfield. So as I go on, you'll see that. From Man City, Mares and Haaland. I'm aware both of these are potentially minutes risks, but between now and the end of the season, they should both be getting lots of points. And we have a good bench. So if one of them just doesn't come on the pitch, we've got someone on the bench that will come on. So, so I feel all right recommending Mares for this team. Arsenal, Saliba, Martinelli, Jesus, Chelsea, James, Spurs, Perisic and Kulisewski. Again, Perisic might be missing some games or be taken off early. If he misses games completely, we've got the bench. We're going to be all right. Fulham, we've got Mitrovic and Andreas. Leicester, we have Danny Ward. Brighton, Dunk. So the forever starting 11, for those who are just going to set this team and forget it, and they, you absolutely won't be finishing bottom, or even too near the bottom in your league. You're going to have Allison in goal, and then defence, you're going to have Trent, Perisic, James, midfield of Diaz, Mares, Martinelli, Kulisewski. Up front, you've got Haaland, Jesus, and Mitrovic. The forever bench, I suggest in this order, you have Danny Ward as the keeper, and then Saliba, Dunk and Andreas. And the chances are Saliba is going to be playing a good number of the games because you've got enough players that might be missing out. The forever captain, well, we have Haaland and Jesus are arguably the best two players from an FBL point of view that you have in your team. I'm suggesting that we have Haaland as the forever captain. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I think he's quite a good player and I'm optimistic he's going to get a good score this year in the FPL. So that means Jesus gets the vice-captain hat, but we are expecting Haaland to miss one or two games, so Jesus will get to wear the special hat on special occasions. So if you've watched a number of Game Week 4 wildcard videos, I think you'll find there's quite a few players that are different in this team. But as I said, it's because we're sympathetic to the bench. I think that's going to be all right. And my intention is later in the season, I'm going to look back at all these set-and-forget teams and see how well you would have done if you'd chosen them. Please do share this with anyone who you think might be less active in the FPL than certain people in your league. Thanks for watching. Please do like and share it. Oh, and subscribe if you want to. Don't have to. There's lots of FPLers out there. Thanks. Bye.